model geometry is complete, we can proceed to assign the physical properties of the model. We'll begin by assigning it as a two-dimensional model. Now, the length of the model will be 40 millimeters. That's the length in the third dimension. And that will determine when we calculate the flux linkage and the torque. Those increase with increasing length. So that's why we specified that here. Then we'll assign some material properties. For the permanent magnet region, we'll assign a neodymium 10 mega gauss orsted bonded magnet. And for the core of the generator, we'll assign a linear steel. Now we don't have to assign any material properties to the coil regions. We're assuming that they're non-magnetic, copper or aluminum. Now the last physical property we have to assign is the direction of the permanent magnet. So we go physics, permanent magnet, magnetization angle. Now the command line is asking us to select a region. We'll left click inside the rotor and then right click to end the selection. The magnetization angle will be 90 degrees. And you can see that that's shown basically uh, by the arrows. We've completed building the geometry and assigning the physical properties to our model. Before we perform the parametric analysis, it's always a good idea just to solve the base model to make sure that everything has been constructed properly. So we'll select Solution and Solve. And you can see the model solves very fast. We use the default boundary element solver. You'll notice that it put more boundary elements at the corner regions where you have high flux densities. Now we'll quickly check the validity of the solution by doing a vector potential plot. So that's the model has been constructed properly. The field lines basically emanate from the permanent magnet. They cross the air gap. They circulate through the core of the generator and return crossing the lower air gap and returning to the magnet. We can also calculate the flux linkage of the coil regions. Analysis flux linkage region. And the program is asking us to select the forward region. Left click inside the left hand region and then right click and selection. Then we have to do select the return region. In a two-dimensional model, flux linkages must be calculated between the forward and return region. Okay, so our flux linkage is about 468 microwebers. So we'll right click and end selection. Now we've confirmed that our base model is solved properly. In the next section, we can go on to create our parametric run.